um, whenever you're trying to keep close embrace for the leaders, you're going to feel more that you are moving more because it's the upper body, but it's not that you're moving more with the arms. So again, whenever we're doing the back boleo, you have to definitely finish it. Especially if we're doing for the front ocho. For the front ocho, I finished it, then I have to give a little extra for the pivot. That's what we we're doing at the beginning. Boom, a little extra. For so the for the ladies, if it's not to feel, uh, for the fathers not to feel afraid to pivot. Even though we're this close, if you notice, I'm close and braced, but I still pivot. I pivot all the way. Again, so guys, do this ocho. doesn't mean this. That just means I have to go around. I have to finish my motion. And then we added the back step, just like last week. Boom, collect, bump. I did the cross, and then we were working on this little leg wrap. Right, and again, the hard part about that leg wrap, go past her foot, try not to do it here. Go past it, ladies, rotate the shoulders, then the leg. Right, that's the hard part. Shoulders. Rotation with the upper body and then the leg. One little thing I saw a couple of guys doing, be careful about, uh, let me do it this way so most of you guys will get it, is all you guys were doing this, great, and then y'all were doing this. See how she looks, and so she feels like she has to do that already. So when you're doing the leg wrap here, finish right there, that's it. That's what I'm done. If I want to do a back cocho, still get here, and then I give her the rest basically so the hard part is just to keep that chest right with her and yeah. then it a little bit quicker and of course if we don't even if we do that and she decides to go out that still works 